Hi everyone, I've noticed that many of you are still waiting for the Gemini update and therefore I decided that I'll show you what the experience like. It's not some deep dive or full on review, it's just what it's like using it in everyday life. I received the update through the other access in one of my households, other households are still waiting and there was nothing special that I've done. It simply popped up as a notification. The household was empty, there were no devices, there was just one single person in the whole household and I had no subscription. I also tried the method with the forced update with the ADB, but this didn't work for me. And I think the reason for that is server switch. I should also say that I'm located in EU and this still rolled out to me when I changed an address that's from the US. Before we get to the next speaker, I just want to show you what it looks like in the app. I'm unable to show you what a notification looks like, but you just get a notification, you go through the setup. If by any chance you miss the notification, it's not a problem. You just need to open your home settings and it'll tell you that Gemini arrived to your home and you are able to activate it. Then instead of Google Assistant, you'll notice this new Gemini for Home Voice Assistant. And right here, you're able to change the Gemini voices, which right now it's only the new voices. You can change languages, but as mentioned, only the US English is available. And I have to say, English is not my first language, therefore I apologize for any mistakes I'll make. Then we have the Hey Google sends a I was not supposed to say because I have my <laughs> Nest speaker right in front of me. And I won't be opening every single option. I just wanted to show you what's new and that's this conversation across devices because Gemini has this short memory feature where it remembers what you talked about a few minutes ago and this is really great because when you're walking around your home and you have your speakers around your home you can continue the same conversation around your house. Then there's Gemini for home response filtering. I'm not sure how it works or how reliable this is but this is basically to get some sort of filtering for kids and guests and there's also a special button for voice access to camera history. I noticed this one was off for some sort of reason and then we have linked services. This is basically the same thing that you had with your Google Assistant. So we are able to add all your favorite services that you usually use with Google Assistant and they are also available for Gemini. Let's move to the actual device. This is a second generation Nest display and the UI after the update is still the same. I've already mentioned that the software version of this Nest speaker is still the same, therefore it's a server switch, so you don't need to update it to, to get Gemini, which is good. And the display feels like it's the same, but you just get Gemini. <laughs> Before we start, there's a huge disclaimer, I'll be saying hey G just way too many times in this video, so get ready and maybe stay away from your Nest speakers. Okay, let's start with something really simple. Hey Google, what's the weather like outside? It's 8 degrees Celsius and clear in Peruba. Tonight it will be clear with a low of 2 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's pretty cold. Um, so, yeah, let's have a follow-up question. Hey Google, um, what should I wear if I'm going outside? Given that you get very cold and the temperature is 8 degrees Celsius, with a low of 2 degrees Celsius tonight, I recommend dressing in warm And layers. this is very interesting layer, like because first you can see that it not only remembers that I told it I'm feeling very cold when I go outside. Uh, it's something that wasn't on video, but I talk about this maybe half an hour ago. Uh, it also knows the context. Therefore, it knows that it's getting as low as two degrees Celsius, of course. <laughs> and therefore, it recommends me what should I wear. So that was just a really simple question. So let's get to devices that you control at home. Um, I'll start with something simple, it's lights. So, hey Google, turn off the lights and turn on air purifier. Sorry, I can't turn off lights on this device yet. And that's a great example of Gemini acting up. Let's try again. Hey Google, turn on air purifier and please tell me if the washing machine is on. All right, turning on two things. Okay, uh, yeah, that was wrong. Uh, let's try it again. Um, hey Google, turn off air purifier and please tell me if the washing machine is on. Sure, turning my air purifier <laughs> on. There is a problem with Gemini. Whenever it thinks it's the end of your command, it 
already performs it. And that's sort of wrong. And you get into this situation from time to time. So it's really good to space it or pace it. <laughs> uh, turn off all lights. That was pretty Four easy. Seven and off. Google Assistant is also able to do that. Turn them back on and change the color to warm white. Sorry, I can't turn on backlights and or change colors. You on can device see yet. that. There are usually, I hope that you're not running into this, but I have to admit from time to time, I'm running into these issues and I'm really glad that you are able to see it because I was a little worried that you won't be able to see these issues, which they pop up from time to time, not all the time, but from time to time they appear. So here you can see it. And of course I'll send feedback to Google. Hey Google, turn the lights on. And four out of seven lights on from I don't know how it works. Now let's imagine a scenario. All right, hey Google, I'm thinking I'll start going to a gym. Um, so tell me, what are the best gyms around? I found a few gyms in Peruba, Ostrava. Respect Fitness Club is a three-story fitness center with cardio, cross. And All right, now we are getting some sort of results from Google. Um, hey Google, is there a parking spot at this Respect Fitness Club? I don't have information about parking availability at Respect Fitness Club. Mm, interesting, because I was able to get this information from Google, from Gemini before, but now, yeah, once again, generative AI, so therefore the results may vary. Do you have any recommendations for me? Um, I'm not a beginner, but I haven't been to a gym for a while. Um, so therefore, where should I start? Really dumb question it's to great say. You're back into the gym. But I'm just Since curious beginner, but been away if it understood the what I meant by that. To avoid injury and burnout, start small and gradually build. And it did. And it, even it was right the sentence was sort of on, strange. It understood what I actually meant by that, and that's absolutely amazing. And it also gave me a workout plan, which is great. There's one thing that I'm probably missing here, and that's probably about uh, what should I eat afterwards. There's some sort of information about protein, but that's good. So, hey Google, can you give me some tips? What should I eat after a workout? And it seems it sort of got stuck. So maybe let's try it again. Give me some tips. What should I eat after a workout? After your workout, it's important yeah, to refuel your body. That's much fluids. better. Anyway, it didn't really give me recipes which i sort of expected i haven't said that that's right uh oh okay we have at least some ingredients that i could eat and you might probably notice that every time i want to talk to gemini uh, i need to use the hey g hot word that's for that's why i mentioned at the beginning that i'll be saying this a lot and i'm not really sure why continued conversation is not part of this whole update you can still somehow do it but you need to go to live and the bad thing about gemini live is that's only available for people who are subscribed to google home premium subscription or whatever it's called right now and you can only use it on um the recent devices like for example, this uh, Nest Hub second generation or uh, Nest Mini and the Nest Audio. Um, I activated uh, a home premium, but after I got the Gemini update. So therefore we can try it right here. I'm not really sure how the live is supposed to work. When I'm using Gemini Live on my phone, uh, it usually gives me short answers and they feel much more like talking to a person. But on Nest devices, it's still it's the same. Um, you can just give you can just give it a follow up questions without saying the hey G hard word. So therefore, let's try it. Hey Google, let's go live. I have to admit the UI is really nice. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so um, you know what? At the end, I decided that I will actually be. Oh, sorry, was that for me? Huh. So at the end, I decided that I'll stay at home and I want to cook something. So um, what can you recommend me? Some sort of recipe that I can get? I, ha I have, you know what? I have chicken uh, in, at the fridge and I have a couple of vegetables, but yeah, I'm not a good cook. So therefore, if you can recommend me something, please. No problem. Let's go with a baked chicken with vegetables. 
It's a one pan meal that's pretty hard to mess up. Here's what you'll need and how to make it. Ingredients. Around 900 grams, two pounds, of chicken thighs or breasts cut into pieces. Two carrots, one onion, two bell peppers, any color you have. Three to four medium Oh, potatoes, you know what? I don't have pounds. bell peppers. No problem at all. You can definitely make baked chicken with vegetables without bell peppers. Okay. The recipe you know is what? Flexible. Actually, this whole baked chicken or whatever it was, um, I, I don't know. Do you have any other recipe for like tortillas maybe? And you can they see it, it's the same as before. It just cuts you off in the middle of what you're saying. Once again, Gemini Live on your phone doesn't do that. So... It's sort of strange. Um, I hope this is something that they'll fix. And I think they will fix that because it's pretty annoying. Um, you can work with that. Okay, there are some other, let's say, tidbits or caveats that I noticed with this update. And when I go to discover, it shows me uh, what I can do uh, with this device. And for example, there's this <laughs> button that tells me about images of flowers. And when I click on that, I, I can help you with information about flowers. Yeah. There are millions of images of flowers. It just doesn't really online, show you the images. Even if I ask for that, hey Google, so show me those images. As Gemini, mm, home, see, I can tell you there are millions of flowers. It simply cannot there. show that. And there are other, like this button that you can tap on, but they don't really work. Uh, or at least they didn't, they don't work as expected. I understand those are Google Assistant buttons. Just, just be aware that maybe features that you used before might not be available. Gemini at the end is still LLM. Uh, it's not Google Assistant. It doesn't have one single command for one feature. Uh, you can access it through the conversation. Therefore, they will probably have to eliminate some of these features. I'm not sure. I noted one of the Redditor was asking if the call center is still available and I have to say, unfortunately, it's not. Hey, Google, call center. Yeah. Sorry, I can't make calls on this device. Yeah, make calls. Well, which is strange because it can make calls. It just cannot call Santa. But then there are other features that came back. So for example, hey Google, can you interpret for me from Czech to English? Okay, I will be your Czech to English interpreter. Česká republika s hlavním městem Prahou je vážně nádherné místo. And the Czech Republic with its capital Prague is a truly beautiful place. And I'm amazed how really nicely this worked. You can even see that it understood a language that's not able to understand in a, in a regular way. Uh, if I turn this off and I'll say some sort of command uh, in my native language, hey Google, světla. it just doesn't understand it and it'll do absolutely nothing. I've tried many times, but at the same time, uh, this is LLM, large language model. Therefore, if I ask it to say something in a different language, it'll do it even without its interpreter mode. So for example, tell me a fun fact about uh, Swedish capital, but tell me this in Polish. Uni. Okay, the pronunciation was completely wrong, but, <laughs> but that's just simply... I apologize if the pronunciation wasn't correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we know. Uh, yeah, the pronunciation was wrong, but the translation was spot on. So, as an LLM, it's absolutely able to speak to you in different languages. Therefore, I expect that the expansion to different languages Hopefully it should be soon. <laughs> and now let's get to one thing that I was really worried about, and that's up-to-date information. So Gemini on phone is usually using Google search to get the up-to-date information, but I have to admit it's wrong in five out of 10 answers. So I'm really worried about this device and this Gemini for home to work the same way. So let's try something that Really local. Um, hey Google, who is the headliner for the next year Beats for Love? The headliners for Beats for Love 2026, which will take place from July 1st to July 4th in Ostrava, include Marshmallow, Dimitri Vegas, and Like Mike, and Paul Van DYK. <laughs> Van DYK. Anyway, um, yeah, 
it's right about Marshmallow. Um, I'm not sure about the rest, I haven't heard about it, but <laughs> I should probably check that. And it was absolutely right, which is excellent. I, I did not expect that, because I tried it before on my phone and it was wrong. <laughs> so, okay, hey Google, can you give me up-to-date news? Headlines. And then Recording. I'm, of course, getting the news. Um, okay, I used the gesture to stop it. Anyway, uh, this is great, but of course, I... I don't live in the U.S. So therefore, hey Google, can you give me some local news? Here's news about your area. And then it gave me a Poland travel hub, which, um, yeah, I'm not in Poland, and <laughs> I, I'm not even. What is that? It's some some sort of YouTube All Saints Day, and it's not even playing. Like, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, take from it whatever you want. <laughs> okay, and I started with something really simple, so let's also end with something really simple. But I'll try it while I'm live, because that's something that's definitely not working on your phone. Um, hey Google, go live. I'm ready when you are. What's on your mind? Can you set a timer for five minutes? So I can't do that yet when we are live. And it's you can exactly end live mode and then the try same it. as on your phone. Therefore, you can definitely do it when you're not live. Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. Got it. Five but minutes. you cannot do it when now. you are live. And that's a shame. Let's get a little personal, okay? So, hey Google, let's check my calendar. Sorry, I can't find anything on your calendar. Okay, that's great because there's nothing there. But can you create something for me on that calendar? What's the title of the event? Mm, that I should probably pay my tuition. <laughs> Sorry, what's the title of the event? To clean up my house. Got it. When is the event? Uh, it's tomorrow, around noon. Okay, to clean up my house tomorrow from midnight to 1 a.m. Mm, okay. Do you want to save that? Can I maybe change it to 2 p.m.? Can you maybe... All right, to clean up my house tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Do you want to save that? Yes. Okay, I saved your event. That's great. I have it in my calendar. So let's try it. Google Keep maybe. Um, hey Google, uh, can you create a new note in my notes app? All right. What do you want it to say? Remember that recipe we talked about about this baked chicken? Can you give me this recipe to my notes? Sure. Saved your note. That's not exactly what I meant by that. Hey Google, that's not, not exactly what I meant. Can you create a note that would have the recipe that you give me half an hour ago? Can you show my notes? You have two notes. Hey Google, cancel my notes. I can't do that on this device yet. You can say show all my notes on your phone and select the note you want to change. Regarding notes, uh, it's not exactly the same experience as on phone. It cannot generate text, from my understanding. Let's create a list of all ingredients that I need for a baked chicken. Saved your note. You can see that it says exactly what you say. It doesn't generate ingredient list, which is different from what you get from your phone, uh, Gemini on a phone. Also, I think that's pretty bad about it. Hey, Google. Please delete this last note. I can't do that on this device yet. See? You can say so, show all my notes on your phone it, and select the note you want to change. Yeah, it tells you exactly what you should do. You should do it on your phone. You cannot do it from this device. So it saved it for you even before you confirm it and then you cannot delete it, which is strange. Can you at least change it? Hey Google, hey Google, can you change my notes? I don't know, but I found these results on search. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, this is Gemini for you. So here we have it. This is my own experience with Gemini for home. I'm not sure if it's ready for prime time, but it definitely feels less dumb than it was before. They also removed some functionality that even the, your display tells you it can do it, that it simply cannot. When you go to discover, you'll find out, find out that these things doesn't really work. Anyway, if you have any other questions that you would like to ask Gemini for home, Feel free to leave them in the comments below, and yeah, if you really, if you really want to, I can create some sort of follow up. 
Um, I think that you sort of get what is the experience with Gemini for Home. Let me know what you think about this experience. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.